Oh, too. it's getting, it's going. It should go. It's getting. It's getting. Did I say that? <laughs> it's getting ready to That's go. Is what I was. And I do that. <laughs> getting ready. It, it should be on. It should be right. <laughs> um. So they have to go to our channel. It's connecting like it oh, was. Oh, oh, I it's connecting. Please, I want to see Mr. Nixon. You see? Yeah. Let's go. else, just Blair. <laughs> <laughs> We're all ready! <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to get birth If, if Hemisphere comes <laughs> over and we break through social distance and we put our heads together, we can get it totally taken off for other reasons. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, you see like what you I saw on the screen? Like a little person right there looks like a zombie? Yeah, I that. <laughs> really? I don't know why. I don't know either. Everyone's going to see it, and I guess. There we go.
even make it to sit, actually. We're not getting up. And I'm talking. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Gimli High School's 2020 graduation. We begin our celebration as we begin every day at Gimli High School, acknowledging the traditional territory upon which we gather. Gimli High School is located on Treaty 1 territory and the Métis homeland. The processional will start momentarily. When all the graduates have entered and stand before you, the music for the processional will end. Graduates will join their families and we will all remain standing for the playing of O Canada. Please rise for the profession, processional. Another turn at board, a fork stuck in the road. Tongue grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. Don't make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the phone and still friends in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and they ask it on trial For what it's worth it was worth all the while <laughs> Oh, 
I missed it. <laughs> We're gathered today and throughout this week to celebrate the graduating class of 2020. Graduation is one of the things that I love about teaching. I get to, with the rest of the staff, have a final moment with our students. I get to reflect and remember all the wonderful moments that have gotten us to this point. And I get to formally say goodbye and good luck because you've achieved what we gather here every day to do. Usually this is the time when I, as an MC, talk about how this graduation is unique because of the particular young people we are gathered today, are gathered together today to celebrate. None of that has changed. There are stories and moments from your time at Gimli High School that won't be forgotten, that will remain a part of this place. I'm so proud that I got to be a part of that. It's a unique graduation for other reasons too, obviously. Certainly my MC notes contain a lot of things that I've never said at a graduation. However, class of 2020, one thing that should be clear this week is just how special you are because of the work and effort that went into making sure that you had a special graduation. And I can honestly say that this is one of the most special grads that I've been a part of in my career. And it's all for you because you're awesome. Before we proceed further into the ceremony, please allow me to share with you some of the measures that we've taken to make sure that today's celebration can happen safely. As in many places, we had self-screening and sanitation upon arrival. We were grouped in families on our chairs. Uh, we're asking, as we do everywhere now, uh, that we respect the physical distancing of requirements of two meters between family groups. If you need to cough or sneeze, please do so into your elbow. You'll notice that we're using two microphones, and we'll be sanitizing the podium area between speakers. And this is the hard one. We'll be avoiding the traditional gestures of congratulations, such as handshakes or hugs. Thank you to all our guests for working with us to ensure that appropriate precautions are followed. A number of staff and community members who want to be here are not attending this ceremony today. Normally the entire staff, the superintendent, trustees, and the generous folks who offer scholarships to the graduates would be present at convocation. To respect the safety recommendations and physical distancing requirements, and so that more family members could be here, these other members of the Evergreen School Division community and the larger community did not attend. But they do send their best wishes and congratulations to the graduates. Graduates will receive a letter from the superintendent, and they will have well wishes from the board and the premier enclosed in their diplomas. As mentioned, there are people that can't be here, and, and our superintendent, Mrs. Rosa Gray, would love to be here. She can't be, so she has sent her message by an audio recording. Congratulations, Evergreen graduates of 2020. We could not be prouder of you. It is my great pleasure, on behalf of Evergreen School Division staff and trustees, to acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishment. High school graduation is a great milestone at any time, and you are graduating amid a global pandemic. These last few months did not unfold as planned. You missed out on many high school moments that classes before you took for granted, and as you move into the world, the future is uncertain. 
Although it seems we have been in a COVID holding pattern forever, this too shall pass. Everything does. One day this will be over and you will be left with the memories you made and the lessons you learned. You may have been too busy coping to see what you were learning, so I offer some thoughts about how you might want to look back on this time. You might remind yourself during the uncertainty, it was easy to feel low, but many things worked out better than you thought they would, such as the ceremony. In the absence of answers, our minds may race off to dark places, but things rarely turn out as badly as we first think. Looking back, you might see that many of your worries were not useful. In the future, when your life takes an unexpected turn and you are left with broken plans and a heavy heart, I hope you'll keep faith that, in the end, everything will be okay. For most, the biggest challenge of this pandemic was the stay-at-home order, which separated us from our family and friends. By week five of staying home, you might have started to miss people you weren't even sure you liked. None of us does as well alone as we do with the support of others. We need each other. We all have something to give and learn from one another. As you move forward, it is worth remembering how dependent we are on each other for strength and joy. No one does great things alone. Continue to look for ways to show up for those around you. Finally, I want you to remember that you are capable and you can do hard things. Every day since the day you were born, you have been learning and adapting and getting stronger. The path ahead of you will be windy, bumpy, and full of surprises. The degree to which you live a meaningful and successful life will depend completely on your ability to begin again after your plans fail. When life disrupts your plans, commit yourself to what matters, remind yourself how strong you are, and keep moving forward. The world needs your kindness and courage. We wish you great adventures as you journey towards a life filled with love, purpose, and accomplishment know that we will support you always. Congratulations. Keep making us proud. Well, thank Mrs. Griggs. I'm sure she's watching the live stream. And our next presenter will be the principal's message delivered by our principal, Mrs. Leona Greet. second of six Gimli High School grad of 2020 ceremonies. It's so nice to see parents, family, guests, and staff gathered here in person as well as via live stream to celebrate the accomplishments of our honored graduates on this beautiful day. Thank you for taking the time to support our grade 12s who have reached this milestone and thank you for helping to bring them together one last time to recognize all that they have accomplished. To the graduates, Although these unique and trying times are tough right now, and it is certainly a time when starting out as young people may feel like a challenge, we know that tough times do not last. We need to make occasions to celebrate, such as this event today, in order to get through those tough times. There will always be bad times in your life, and hopefully only one global pandemic, but these bad times will pass. Today needs to be a day of celebration, a happy time to spend with fellow classmates and a time to recognize the special occasion of finishing high school. Graduation marks the end of your childhood and your passage into adulthood, a time when you start to take charge of your life and a time when the choices that you make become yours and yours alone. Do you remember what it felt like for you when you first entered grade nine time? How little you were back then? How much you have grown since, both literally and figuratively. We are very proud of your decision to pursue architecture. Do you remember the day you entered GHS Ryan from Toulon and how that felt? It couldn't have been easy trying to learn tough subjects and meet new people, but you persevered and wrote some beautiful poetry along the way. Congrats to the two of you, Ryan and Ty, for a job well done. Adulthood is now upon you, and making choices, good 
good, I hope, will be a thing that you will do on a regular basis moving forward. As fine young graduates, each of you need to think about your passions and how you have developed them over the last four years. To Neil, you have a gift for the performing arts. And Emma Pushki, you are always a voice for social justice issues. I hope that you will think about pursuing these talents as you explore career options in the years to come. Emma Walashik, you have excelled in music production. I wish you all the best as you pursue your dreams connected to this area at university or college. I know you will be successful. How do you know what the right path for you will be? My message to you is simple. Learn to dream big, love what you do, and get good at it. For those adults in the crowd with more than one graduation experience, you will probably agree with me that high school graduation will be the most memorable graduation that you will have. This is the group of students that you have spent many years with. I am sure that there have been ups and downs, times when you couldn't stand each other, and other times when the best friendships were forged. Please recognize those moments for what they were. Learn from the situations that were hurtful and become a better person because of it. And cherish the moments when good things came from your interactions. There will be many more ups and downs in your life. These learning experiences now will lay a foundation for how you will react to life situations in the future. I know you will make good choices. And finally, as you go out into the world today, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Nora Ephron, a talented writer and director. Your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. So take care. core of the ceremony, the point at which we give out the diplomas, the awards, the scholarships. We have a whole squad of people coming up to make sure this happens. We have Ms. Noble who will set us off, start us off. Uh, the documents, the diplomas, and scholarship and awards will be presented by Mrs. Groot, Mrs. Dankochik, Mrs. Ailson, and Mrs. Noble. And Mrs. Fritvinson will be coming to the podium to share some thoughts about each graduate as they come. Firstly, on behalf of the graduates, their families, and our school community, I want to acknowledge and express our gratitude to the contributors of community scholarships and awards. You will see in your program that our awards are many. We are incredibly fortunate for the ongoing sponsorship from community members, families, and organizations. Even during uncertain times, you continue to support, invest, and instill hope for the future through the gift of post-secondary education. Please join me in giving a round of applause to our incredibly generous community donors. I'm now going to provide an explanation of the high school diploma categories. To achieve a Manitoba diploma, a student must have a minimum of 30 credits. To achieve the Manitoba diploma with honors, a student must have a minimum of 30 credits and a minimum average of 80% in all grade 12 courses. To achieve the Evergreen School Division Diploma, a student must have a minimum of 32 credits. To achieve the Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction, a student must have a minimum of 32 credits and a minimum average of 80% in five grade 12 courses that must include English and math. And lastly, graduates, here are your instructions. Each grad will be called up to the stage only once for the presentation of diplomas, scholarships, and awards. Measures will be taken to ensure physical distancing. When your name is called, please walk up to the stage under the GHS archway and as you approach, we're going to share a personal note about you. If you're receiving scholarships and or sports awards, these will be summarized and presented in one package by Mrs. Dan Kochik. You will then face Mrs. Groot for the presentation of your diploma. These documents are going to be placed on the table for the graduate to collect. And upon presentation of your diploma, 
please face the assembly and move your own tassel from right to left to represent your status as a high school graduate. Any questions? of today's ceremony and we are going to get started. Tyler Burke, you are up. Woo! Ty's biggest accomplishment was doing a flip in every room in the school. He plans to attend the Faculty of Engineering at the U of M and pursue a master's in architecture. Ty leaves us with the quote, when something is important enough, you do it, even if the odds are not in your favor. Ty is receiving the Peter Fray's Legacy Fund for his academic excellence in math and sciences in the amount of $1,000. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Ty is graduating with an Evergreen School Division diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Ty. Flip your tassel. Neil Conley. Tanil can be described as independent, strong, intelligent, and bold. Her favorite memories have been during drama class with Miss Bauer. It was then that she made strong connections with people and really discovered more about herself and her capabilities. Tanil is receiving the following scholarships and awards. The Brandon University Entrance Award, conditionally offered based on her self-reported grades and academic average in the amount of $1,700. The Gimli District Health Auxiliary Bursary in the amount of $500 for her academic achievements, good character, and pursuit of post-secondary education in the medical field. The Kiwanis Matching Post-Secondary Scholarship for her volunteerism, citizenship, and good character in the amount of $500. The RM of Gimli Award in recognition of her high academic achievement and involvement in school and or community activities in the amount of $500. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Tanil is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Tanil. Lift your tassel. Emma Pishke. Emma has successfully discovered herself and found peace and belonging. She fondly remembers meeting Sigrid, an exchange student from Denmark, who became a true and real friend. Emma is grateful for those who showed her compassion and were true to themselves, making her four years of high school great. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Emma is graduating with an Evergreen School Division diploma. Congratulations, Emma. Flip your tassel. Plett. Ryan can be described as an empathetic and creative individual. His proudest accomplishment was putting on a great drama show at the Aspire Theatre. He plans to make art, stay creative, and one day become an English teacher. He leaves us with a quote by Daniel Johnston, love is the question, love is the answer. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Ryan is graduating with an Evergreen School Division diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Ryan. Emma Woloshek. Emma is moving to Brandon to take interactive media arts at Assiniboine Community College. She dreams of producing a hit song or album one day. Emma leaves us with the quote, when words fail, music speaks by Shakespeare. Emma is receiving the following scholarship, the Interlake Communications Co-op Incorporated Scholarship for her community service and involvement in technology and video studies in the amount of $400. <laughs> Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Emma is graduating with an Evergreen School Division diploma. Congratulations, Emma.
presentation of scholarships, awards, and diplomas. Back to you, Nickerson. Thank you, Ms. Richardson. We heard a lot of talk about remote learning. You'll see that we actually have uh, one last remote project for a couple people. Our valedictorians couldn't be here today, so we have their message delivered by audio. So you're going to hear the voices of Tyson Groot and Maggie Michalek, our valedictorians. To one-sixth of my fellow graduates, it's been a wild ride. It was just four years ago that we started high school, and if I'm being honest, I can't tell if it's been a long four years or a fast four years. So much has happened since we started, and here some of us sit getting our diplomas in a ceremony that can only be described as the only way given the circumstances. Both Tyson and myself are honored and thankful to represent the GHS class of 2020 today, and a few other days. I remember many of us at one point saying, Wow, 2020, what a cool year to graduate. It is such a nice ring to it. Class of 2020, well, aren't we regretting saying that now? So let's get the big elephant out of the room instead of us sitting here wondering why you're hearing our voices and not seeing us speak on stage. I know many of us have gotten upset because of everything that's changed since COVID. Like not having a senior skip day. But think about it like this. We've pulled off the best skip day in history because ours lasted four months. But today isn't about COVID. Today isn't about everything we missed or didn't have the chance to do. It's about what we did do and what we can do. I'm glad all of you made it out to support us through the most unorthodox grad ever. Freshman year, we weren't necessarily scared, but we were cautious. We understood we were at the bottom of the food chain. And despite being eager and excited about being in high school, we knew not to step on anyone's toes, and we tried our best not to. Grade 9 was a year to settle in and figure out our priorities. There were no school trips for us, which gave us time to stick in the building and figure out what we liked. When sophomore year came around, we were no longer so cautious. We were ready to start making a mark at GHS. The boys made it to the finals of basketball provincials. We had a trip to Costa Rica, we had our first opportunity to go on the DHS ski trip, and more of us started to join clubs such as Enviro, Ski Club, and Student Council. Now, our overall presence in the halls was more known. This was the first year we were able to go on the school ski trip. Now, one of my personal favorite high school memories, singing on the long bus rides, skiing for two days straight, and hanging out at the hotel. For a high school trip, it doesn't get much better. I was one of the lucky individuals that got a chance to play on one of our many sports teams. I'll never forget the experiences I had with my team, most of which I can't talk about today. The few things I can talk about is how I learned to lose with pride in grade 10 when our basketball team lost provincials in the finals. And this year, when provincials got cancelled entirely, through it all, our team stayed together and strong. When junior year rolled around, we were already starting to feel like seniors. You could say any fears we had were gone, and even though we weren't seniors, we didn't care. We were more involved in our school than ever, and this year had lots in store for us. We had the Europe trip, the ski trip again, a fishing trip, the band, that moose jaw trip, more of killing it at Great Wars, university talk started, and it was the first year we were able to go to St. Grant. The ski trip had convinced me that was the best a school trip could get. Well, I was wrong. The Europe trip was the most incredible high school experience I have ever had. In our 10 days overseas, we saw numerous French cities, including Paris, along with a few cities in Belgium. Exploring the cities and learning from the war sites we visited was an experience like no other. And now senior year. This year, we really solidified our dominance over every other grade by winning grade wars four years in a row. Now, some of you might argue that we cheated here and there, but we never got caught, so did it even happen? We were finally on top of the food chain, and after only attending grads, our big day was finally on the horizon, and this year had so much in store. Like one last round of grade wars. Oh, never mind. And got to go on a trip to Chicago. Wait, that never happened. But the boys had a really good shot at provincials. Oh, that also didn't happen. Hey, did you mention we're at the top of the food chain yet? Yeah, that's about it. The things our class will be remembered by is the first attempt at remote learning. Not having provincial exams. And the 
blessing of baseline marks. We would like to say a brief thank you to everyone that helped us get here today and made this ceremony possible. Thank you to all of our coaches who pushed us physically and mentally to become better athletes. Thank you teachers for enhancing our knowledge and answering all of our questions. Thank you to all of the staff for your generous help. And thank you parents for motivating us, helping us, and your never-ending support. And to our fellow graduates, thank you for the many years of memories. This might not have been pretty, but we made it and we should all be proud of ourselves. Though we don't know what the future holds, to everyone who wants to start working, we wish you the best of luck. Everyone wanting to travel, nice try, but you'll have to wait a few years. And to those who wish to pursue a post-secondary education or trade, we wish you the best of luck learning online or in the classroom. Today we may say our goodbyes, but it's not the end. We get to continue to celebrate each other's success in the fall. So as we leave today, let's remember the friendships and memories we made in the many years leading up to today. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, because I'm sure they're tuned into the live stream. Thank you, Maggie and Tyson. Uh, before formally closing the ceremony today, I want to encourage grads to, to take a moment and reflect upon your last visit to the school that you had, that victory lap, if you will. You did the aww thing at that presentation with the baby pictures and the grad pictures. You said goodbye to your lockers and you got that one last look at your teachers in their natural habitat. I also encourage you to take in this moment. You've done it, high school is finished. We've been blessed to be able to gather here today to celebrate our graduates. So thank you everyone for joining us for that celebration. Graduates, class of 2020, please stand and come back up to the front where you stood when you entered today. Family, friends, loved ones, and staff, please join us in a thunderous round of applause to celebrate Gimli High School's class of 2020.